Amir Khan's statement has to be seen in the context and if you look at it, there is a pattern emerging. One, there is a concerted effort in India to create this strong impression that minorities are living in a fear of insecurity and that there is a majority intolerance in this country, growing intolerance among the majority, to protest which eminent people from diverse sectors have returned the rewards and recognitions given by the government. It was not supported by all. In that situation, Mr. Shah Rukh Khan had come out and fully supported them that it is a meaningful way of protesting. Days later, Amir Khan made the statement where he shared this news that his wife too at one point of time felt like quitting India because there is a sense of insecurity and there is a sense of rising intolerance in India. What is happening is willy-nilly Amir and Shah Rukh Khan are emerging as the voices of the Muslim community. Earlier there are people like Shahabuddin, people like Bukharis who used to be the voices of the Muslim community. Now we see popular credible uh, political faces coming out as the voices of the Muslim community and in this context they should be very careful as to what they say because it would have a greater impact. What Amir Khan has failed to disclose is whether after Kiran expressed that sense of fear, whether that issue is a closed one or the debate is still on at home. He did not tell us how did he manage to convince Kiran against our view or whether he buys in that view. What is that decision? Have they agreed to quit India or have they decided that it is only a passing phase that it's all right, we can stay back? What is it? He should have answered that. Second, Amir and Shah Rukh Khan emerging as the voices of the Muslims in this country comes in the context of a rabid political party called MIM trying to become a pan-India party. The leaders of MIM has got the guts to challenge, issue a challenge to the might of the state. He had gone to the extent of threatening to wipe out majority Hindu community if he were given a free time of 10 minutes without the police. So, if credible, popular, apolitical leaders like Shah Rukh and Amin give strength to the feeling that there is indeed a sense of insecurity among the minorities, tomorrow should there be a violent act in this country as a fallout of the rallying of Muslims on religion basis of parties like MIM, these very concerns and statements today would be used as a justification for the future act of violence.